Top 10 Best Catches in Cricket History Ever Number 10 In the third test match between Pakistan and England played in Karachi from December 7 to 11, 2000. A stunning catch was indeed taken to dismiss Marcus Treskothic. The catch was taken by Imran Nazir. Treskothic tried to play a cut shot off a delivery from Wakar Yunus. Imran Nazir, who was fielding at Point Region, dived his right side to take an outstanding catch in one hand. Number 9 In the second ODI of Sri Lanka's tour of New Zealand in 2007, played at Christchurch on January 4 in 2007. Tilakaratne Dilshan took an outstanding catch to dismiss Scott Styres. Dilshan, who was fielding at Point Region made a full-length dive to his left to grab the ball with his outstretched both hands. Dilshan's acrobatic effort earned him widespread praise from cricketing fans and experts. Number 8 during the New Zealand tour of South Africa on December 2, 2007, in the third ODI match played in Cape Town, Andre Nell the South African fast bowler took an outstanding catch to dismiss Scott Styris. When Styris played a lofted shot off the bowling of Johan Botha. The ball seemed to be heading for a six, but Nell, who was fielding at deep mid-wicket, ran towards his left and took a diving catch, plucking the ball out of the air with both hands. Number 7 England tour of Pakistan's second test at Faisalabad in November 20, 2005. In that catch, Flint topped position at cover and dived full length his right side to take an incredible one-handed catch to dismiss Shoaib Malik. Flint was a brilliant all-rounder and a fantastic fielder who took many memorable catches during his playing days. Number 6 In the fourth match of the Iowa Cup between Sri Lanka and Australia played in Colombo on August 26 in 1999, it was Ricky Ponting who took a stunning catch to dismiss Sanap Jayasuriya. He tried to play a lofted shot off a delivery from Glenn McGrath. Ponting, who was fielding at Point Region, dived full length his right side to take an incredible catch in one hand, just inches off the ground. Number 5 during the 7th ODI of South Africa's tour of the West Indies on May 16, 2001 in Kingstown. Darren Ganga took an outstanding catch to dismiss Gary Kirsten, the South African opening batsman. When Kirsten played a lofted shot off the bowling of Cameron Cuffey. The ball seemed to be heading for a four runs, but Ganga, who was fielding at backward square leg, he ran towards his left and took a stunning diving catch, catching the ball with one hand. Number 4 During the first ODI of Australia's Tour of India on September 29, 2007, in Bengaluru, Yuvraj Singh took an outstanding catch to dismiss Adam Gilchrist the Australian wicketkeeper batsman. When Gilchrist played a lofted shot off the bowling of Zaheer Khan. The ball seemed to be heading for a boundary, but Yuvraj, who was fielding at point region, ran towards his right, leapt in the air, and plucked the ball out of thin air with his outstretched hands. Number 3 The Australia cricket team toured South Africa in 1994 for a three-match test series. An outstanding catch taken by Peter Kirsten in the second test at Newlands, Cape Town. In that match, Australian batsman smashed a full-length delivery from South African bowler Brian McMillan, Peter Kirsten leapt into the air and dived his right side to took an incredible both-handed catch to dismiss Mark Waugh. Number 2 
During the third ODI of West Indies tour of New Zealand on February 25, 2006, in Christchurch, Nathan Astle took an outstanding catch to dismiss Dwayne Smith, the West Indian all-rounder. When Smith played a lofted shot off the bowling of Jeetan Patel, the ball seemed to be heading for a six, but Astle, who was fielding at deep mid-wicket, he jumped to air and took a stunning one-handed catch. Astle's catch was a brilliant display of athleticism and reflexes. Number 1 In the second test of India's tour of South Africa in 1996, played at Cape Town on January 2nd in 1994, in this match Adam Bakker took an outstanding catch. Adam Bakker, stationed some distance inside the boundary between deep square leg and deep mid-wicket, ran backwards and to his left. When he realized the ball would soar over him, he stopped and leapt, his right hand stretched upwards. Almost miraculously, he held the ball as he tumbled onto the ground. 